everyone, and here's our devotional for Saturday, October 20th, 2018. And for those of us, those of you who live locally to me, the harvest party at the Church of God is tonight at 6, if anyone wants to join us and hang out with us. It'll be fun. I, I've gone every year for the past four years. I guess it's my fourth year, and I love it. It's always a lot of fun. My favorite part is the hayride. But anyway, enough about that. So here's our devotional for Saturday, October 20th. <clears throat> entitled, entitling Weathering the Weather. Hmm. Indeed, in our hearts we felt the sentence of death, but this happened that we might not rely on ourselves, but on God, who raises the dead. 2 Corinthians 1 9. I just observed a deep theological truth on the Nickel- Nickelodeon cartoon series Little Bear. I've never seen it, so I can't relate, but we'll keep reading. <clears throat> One of the characters on the show said, Whether the weather be cold or whether the weather be hot, we'll weather the weather, whatever the weather, whether we like it or not. <laughs> Say that ten times fast. Oh my goodness. Let's try that again. That's cute. <clears throat> Let's try it again. Okay, he said, Whether the weather be cold or whether the weather be hot, we'll weather the weather, whatever, whatever, whatever the weather, whether we like it or not. <laughs> the theological implication being that in spite of whatever is happening to us, in spite of not even liking what is happening to us, we will get through it. Paul expressed the same thought in language containing far less alliteration. <laughs> I know how to get along with humble means, and I know also know how to live in prosperity. In any and every circumstance, I have learned the secret of being filled and going hungry, both of having abundance and suffering need. Philippians 4.12 N-A-S-B. Uh-oh. Hold on. That's my daily bread coming through. Hold on. Hold on. Ah, I can't get rid of it. Okay, hold on. And I also know how to... Okay, there's the... Do, 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 do. Philippians 4.12. N-A-S-B. What is the secret to weathering the weather or thriving in both feast and famine. Paul says the secret is found in trusting the God who supplies all our needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4.19 NASB. That's the bottom line, isn't it? Trusting in the God of glorious abundance. When I trust myself, sooner or later, I'll realize I'm bankrupt. When I trust God, I'm saved from ever running out of resources. Trusting in you, dear God, means I can rest in your ample provision. Thank you. Amen. Marilyn Meberg. Um, and I, I just love that, to be able to trust in him, no matter what. My thing is, you know what, if I if, if things don't go my way, I'm like this spoiled brat that, like, you know, is trying so hard, you know, as hard as I can not to pout, you know. But um, I remember one time when that happened, you know, plans changed and I wasn't happy about it. And God gave me this song. And my throat's a little rough this morning, but it goes, All that really matters in my life is you. Not the temporary things I go through. Um. Disappointments come and go, but I'll stand fast on what I know. Though this earth will pass away, it's true. All that matters is you. Lord, help us to remember that all the time, that all that really truly matters is you and your will and your way. Lord, help us. So, may the Lord bless you all and be with you till tomorrow.